guys, it's Kiara and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be telling you guys why I am transferring from Grand Canyon University. So today is actually my last day. I just finished all my classes and everything like that and I move out tomorrow. So I just thought it'd be fitting for me to finally make this video and post it for you guys. So of course I did write everything down in my little YouTube book which I always do so I don't forget anything but this isn't me bashing Grand Canyon University or saying it's a bad school or anything like that it's just not what I need or what I want necessarily overall it's a pretty good school the academics are pretty good the dorms are really nice yada yada I did a whole pros versus cons of GCU um, if you want to see that it's on my channel and I'll also link it down below for you guys but today I'm just basically gonna be telling you why I'm transferring and all my reasons <laughs> okay so the big reason why I'm transferring is basically the tuition so if you don't know, GCU doesn't have out-of-state tuition because it is a private school, so they just have a flat rate tuition, which everybody pays depending on where they're living, if they have scholarships, and, just, and stuff like that. So I'm just going to be honest with you guys. Um, each semester, it costs me a little over 15 grand to come here, so overall, I spent about 30 grand this whole entire freshman year. Because I do live in a dorm, I do have a meal plan, so those are factors to put into all that cost. But if you are a commuter, your tuition is like a really, really good price. But since I do live in the dorms and I do have a food plan, it is more expensive. And I also did not get a scholarship, so everything that... What am I trying to say? So basically I paid for everything. I took out student loans and now I am over 30 grand in debt. <laughs> but I mean, who isn't in college debt, honestly? So yeah, basically it's not as affordable as they like to advertise that it is. It is affordable compared to like ASU, like because they have such a huge gap between in-state and out-of-state tuition, whereas here at GCU they have one tuition rate so it is affordable in a sense compared to other schools but it's still college and it's still like hella expensive so that is like my big main reason because i'm moving home if you don't know where home is for me i'm moving back to virginia and i'm going to the local university there which is old demand university and there my tuition is literally like five grand <laughs> it's literally like five grand a semester I obviously will be living at home and I won't have to pay for a meal plan so I'm literally just paying for my academics and my books and everything like that so that's literally five grand which is so much cheaper than 15 grand because I will be able to pay that five grand I won't have to take out student loans to pay that five grand so that is basically why I'm moving home and then I also have some other reasons that are just more like personal that aren't really related to the school. Some of my personal reasons are basically that I miss my mom. I've never been apart from my mom before for like this long amount of time. I think the longest I went without seeing my mom was like two or three weeks but yeah it's just really hard because it's literally like coast to coast because Virginia is all the way over here, Arizona is all the way over here and flights are really expensive and no one has time to just take off of work and just come over here and like do all of that like no one has all that kind of money. So that is one of my reasons and like I said it's cheaper for me to live at home, it's cheaper tuition over there and Honestly, at the end of the day, when I graduate, I will have less student loan debt because of the fact that I move back home. I will still have to pay that 30 grand back one day. That's not going to change. But if I would have stayed here for GCU for the next four years, 30 times four, that's 120 grand in debt plus anything else that I would have to spend. And that's just, that's a lot. <laughs> but... Some other reasons I had is that basically, basically, 
I don't want to put this in the wrong way or make people not want to come here or um, make them scared or something like that. But GC is not what I expected. The atmosphere and the people are not what I expected. People are really nice here, but I don't know what it is, but I just, I don't feel a connection to the people here and I just felt really like left out in a sense. Like I've stated before, I don't really have friends. There are people that I've talked to, that I associate with, but I've never gone out and hung out with anybody or did any of that. And I'm really not going to really get into that because that's not really important. But yeah, so the people here and just like the campus, like I don't have a car here and so I'm literally stuck on campus all the time and it's just really inconvenient and you know, I have to take Ubers whenever I want to go somewhere. Like yes, my grandpa lives here, but he does live about like 45 minutes away and I don't want him to have to drive over here all the time whenever I need something or whenever I want to go to the store or anything like that. So that's just a little downfall to or downside to being here and like i said the people i just don't really feel like i've found anybody that i connect with or found anybody that have the same interests as me or anything like that i've just felt very like shut out and kind of in my own space i spend majority of my time in my dorm watching youtube videos <laughs> making youtube videos um i did have a job this semester which was really really nice i'm really grateful for that i did have a job on campus and a side note it's really really hard to get a job at gcu on campus <laughs> um i applied for this job at taco bell in october when they were supposed to open but they didn't end up opening until january which is when i actually started working but overall, I'm not transferring for like some crazy big drama build reason or anything like that. Basically just for personal reasons and the fact that I don't want to pay 120 grand back one day because I'm never going to have that much money to just pay back. But that is basically all I have to say about why I'm transferring. There's n really not much to say about it except for the tuition, being away from my mom and just really not feeling like I belong here that much but if you guys have any questions about why I'm transferring about GCU or anything about what college I'm going to or anything like that make sure to leave them down below or you can message me on my social media I'll have it right here on the screen but other than that that's all I have to say um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video bye